Hey guys, so about a year ago I started a search for a new audio playback program because I was just kind of done with iTunes, and I had pretty high expectations, but that search led me to FUBAR2000, which has really exceeded all of my expectations. It's a great program and I highly recommend it. Um, so in this video I'm just going to be going over what FUBAR2000 is, and how you can customize it to be your own. Um, if you want to go in depth with customizing though, I'll put a link somewhere in the video here and in the video description to Tech Syndicate's video. It's about a 15 minute video on how to really customize FUBAR2000 to your own personal preferences. Um, but for starters, so this is the interface that I have. I have a video which will probably also be in the description below on how to, it's like one minute, it's on how to install and set up FUBAR2000 to look just like this for you. Um, so to begin, FUBAR2000, it's, first of all, it's free. So if you just search FUBAR2000, you can go download it. Second of all, it's extremely customizable. There's a whole online components repository. These are all components that you see around here, where you can really make it whatever you want it to be. I mean, I have a couple components that are 8-bit music decoders. So um, normally to play like Atari SAPs or Commodore 64 8-bit music, you would need a separate dedicated program to do that. But with FUBAR2000, you can just get a component that's a decoder and play it through FUBAR. And then on top of that, you can customize the look to be whatever you want it to be and just work really well for you. And then the last thing is it has the best audio playback quality of any audio playback program out there. So for most of you guys with, you know, your ear pods or whatever by Apple, you're not going to be able to tell, but if you invest in high bit rate music or lossless audio um, tracks or something like that, or you have high-end headphones, then you'll tell the difference between this program and other programs. So that's what FUBAR2000 is. Now for my theme, as you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and, well, I guess I can leave that playing. Um, I have all my main music in this main tab right here. And then on the right here, I have a couple tabs. The first tab is metadata, so this is just song information. And then I have another tab that's on my playlists, and you can make new playlists just by like create new, and then you can just click and drag into a new playlist and stuff like that. So then this playlist is right there. And then I have an album art viewer. And then on this side I have um, a spectrum, so this just tells the decibel level of each different frequency, and you can change the number of bands. It really doesn't do anything, I just think it looks cool. And then up here are facets. So facets is a separate component that does not come with this dock, um, FUBAR2000 download. So if you want facets, you can got to watch my video tutorial on how to add that. But this just makes it really easy to sort through your music. So if I want to pick a specific band, like Blue Stolly, then I want to pick a specific album, it'll highlight that album within my music. So if I want to jump down to, like, let's go to the Glitch Mob, and right there, and I can highlight anything I want. And, um, yeah. So there's more, there's so many ways you can customize this. I mean, one of the ways that I do is just for fun, you can change the color. So let's say we want to change this to orange. Okay, apply, there you go. You can change the font, change the highlight color. Highlight color is like how this is red, and these are red, and how the tops of the bars here turn red. Um, keyboard shortcuts, this is something I use. So I have a Bluetooth app on my phone that allows me to control my computer, and so I've set it up so like I have key combinations like Alt-P is play or pause. So with my phone, I just use Bluetooth to really control whatever I want to listen to, so that's pretty nice. Um, and yeah, I mean, you can do all sorts of things. I mean, it's just so nice. You can also change um, what's displayed up here. Let's see if I can, I think that's, there we go. So window title, that's what's up here, and you can see a preview for it. Well, normally there would be a preview. And then down here, the status bar indicator, you can also change whatever that looks like. So, yeah, I encourage if you guys want to learn more, go check out Tech Syndicate's video. And if you want yours to look just like this, then I encourage you guys to check out my like one minute video on how to set it up. So, on that note, thank you guys for watching.